Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and friends beyond the binary, it's time for the podcaster. Who, I'm here to lend a hand. You don't need to lend me an ear or bend me an ear. I'm the podcast you barely need to hear. And I could be standing far. I could be standing near. And I, you know, aimlessly rhyme with cheer. Oh, my dears, I'm here to put you to sleep. But what am I talking about? I don't know. I don't know, but it feels like I'm about to get into the reins of Castamir. I know I'm not being clear, uh, but and that's why it's time for Sleep With Me podcast to put you to sleep. Uh, and here's a couple of ways we keep the show going. If you can't check them out right now, uh, I mean, which if you're if you're just getting settled, you could check them out now. Or when your hand hits the fridge tomorrow, sleepwithmepodcast.com slash sponsors. Uh, thanks. Uh, hey, everybody. I don't know if you've checked out our merch store lately, but uh, as we uh, get, we're staying in the warm season for a little while here, we've got those uh, really cool Bella Flowey tanks uh, in all sizes and uh, two different prints, the Sleepy Sheep and the Sleep With Me logo. We've got new things on the horizon. Just go to sleepwithmepodcast.com slash store uh, to check out all of our merch. Don't forget about our custom sleep phones, uh, sleep spray. And our sleepy pants. Nothing goes better in bed than the, 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 the Bella Flowey tank tops and uh, the, the sleep pants. Uh, so check it all out. Sleepwithmepodcast.com slash store. Uh, get your merch on and share it with me. Thank you so much, everybody. All right, everybody. It's time for the Sleepy Supporter Zone. And I want to thank Paul, Julie, and Lauren, who are the first people to join the Dream Door Club. Uh, which you'll kind of, if you're a patron, you'll probably hear more about it, but they've gone to multiple, multiple live Sleep With Me shows and been there to support me on a regular basis, has been trying to figure out and grow these local live shows. And so while there will be other entrants into the Dream Door Club, it is one of the highest honors you could achieve uh, on Sleep With Me podcast. Uh, I don't know, I, I guess it's still worth the title, but anyway, I want to thank Paul. Julie and Lauren for coming to a bunch of Sleep With Me shows and making it to our uh, live uh, one-year anniversary celebration. Uh, if you live in the Bay Area, please come to one of our monthly live shows, uh, second Wednesday of every month. Uh, you can find more about it at sleepwithmepodcast.com slash live show. And that's the end of the Sleepy Supporter Zone. Oh, Mystery Bard, a lot of people help out on this show. Who are they? Chris Posty Poster Sound. Sounds like a near fall. Wrote the theme song. Carl W. The Legend Also edits episodes Kenny Scotty and Jennifer Runner, 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 runner Eric and the team Bad is down Or on the website I am the mystery bar I do the lullabies, yeah I do commissions at JonathanMan.net I'll write a song for you Any reason at all You can tell me the story and I'll make it personal You see the kindness shine Straight on through Thanks, Mr. Bard. I'm at Dear Scooter on Twitter and Instagram. Make sure you subscribe to the podcast and whatever podcast app you listen in. It's free, and it just makes sure you get updated when new episodes come out and stuff like that. And that's it. What do you say we get on with the show? Uh, hey, are you up all night tossing, turning, mind racing, trouble getting to sleep, trouble staying asleep? Well, welcome this is Sleep With Me, the podcast that puts you to sleep. We do a bedtime story. All you need to do is get in bed, turn out the lights and press play. I'm going to do the rest. What I'm going to attempt to do is create a safe place where you can set aside whatever's keeping you awake, whether it's uh, thoughts that you're thinking about, uh, feelings, uh, physical sensations, so anything you're feeling emotionally or physically or thinking about. It could be travel, you know, whatever's keeping you up. It could be anything. I don't know what, what would necessarily... I, here's the thing. I don't I don't know what's keeping you awake or 
what it is, uh, but, but I do care, uh, and the way I care is, uh, what did I do? I, 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 sorry, I've just changed up the intro there. Uh, whatever's keeping you awake, I'd like to take your mind off of that. Yeah, whatever, like, and what I'm going to do, it, the way I'm going to show that I care is I'm going to send my, vo I'm going to be here uh, digitally, I kind of on demand, uh, on call, just like you say, you, you rang, you pressed play, I'm here, uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to send my voice across the deep, dark night. I'm going to use a lulling, soothing, creaky, dulcet tones, pointless meanders, superfluous tangents. I'm going to go off topic. I'm going to be, but I'm here. Well, like I said, I'm going to be here to keep you, to try to help. Uh, so it's basically, ideally, a safe place where you say, okay, now I can get comfortable in bed. I can turn out the lights and press play. Scoots is going to keep me company and take my mind off of stuff. Or try. You know, maybe sometimes I won't be successful. But, you know, that's part, I'm here I'm here because you're human and I'm human. So, what do, you know, that's that's one of the taglines of the show that hasn't made it to it. Because I say, you're human, I'm human. So what are we going to do, huh? With a shrug, shruggy shrug emoji. Which is different than a shrugging emoji. This shruggy shrug emoji is actually uh, it's part of my new kids cartoon show that has never been invented. It hasn't been made yet. I just thought of it. Uh, that'll be. It won't be one of the main characters. They'd probably be like the one of the head professors. Uh, shruggy shrug emoji. What, I don't. Know, why? Why did they get a D on this? Mm -hmm. good, good, like this was a. Teacher would be doing that shruggy shrug. I said, hmm, I don't know. Uh, why did you get a D on the test? And I'd say, oh boy, way to turn, way to make me come to my own conclusions, teach. Uh, but So I'm here uh, to help. Uh, if you're new, I'm glad you're here. Welcome. I really am glad you're here. I really hope I can help. Uh, but a couple things you're going to need to know if you're new and you're skeptical, or, or you're not skeptical, whether you're open-minded or skeptical, or somewhere in between, or betwixt, uh, uh, betw betw and I think I've talked about this on the podcast, no no twix in bed. You know, have it before, you can have it near your bed. Uh, has anyone wrote a poem like betwixt two twix? I mean, they, maybe that could be, maybe that's too commercial, but, I mean, that does feel like it's something, I mean, it would be mysterious if you were lying between two Twix anyway. Yeah, first of all, don't do it in bed. Like, maybe save it for a camping trip. But even then, probably not the best idea. But uh, maybe that would be someone, I guess it would be a poem a kid would write at summer camp. Because that would be the most likely place you'd be lying between two Twixes. Also, a tw I realize Twix and Betwixt are two different things, but... Uh, I don't know, I'm just picturing a kid there lying right, I mean, I guess a young version of me, saying, here I lie, betwixt two twix, and I sigh, and I say, I guess maybe you're right, maybe this poem doesn't need to rhyme like all my other ones, uh, but then I just thought of something that rhymed with sigh, and now I forgot it, the moon outside my window, my heart a flutter. Yeah, for the this I guess is becoming more a letter, you know. But for the letter, for for the, the school, the 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 camp dance just ended, and hence I am actually in the middle of a podcast intro. But I'll try to keep this uh, going. This letter as I lie here between two twixes, betwixt two twixes, I turn it back to you, Scoots. Oh, thanks. It was I was hoping to hear how that turned out. So why don't you work on your puzzle or poem, your puzzling poem. By, uh, so if you're new, oh, it shows a little bit different. So if you're skeptical or not, you say, well, how is this? This is, I don't understand how this is going or where this is going. And I'd say, so you're very perceptive. Uh, so the show, here's the structure of the show. So maybe this will help. The show starts off with a few minutes of business. That's how we're able to keep the podcast uh, free for everybody, is the people that support the sponsors or support the show. Uh, then, uh, so there's a few minutes of business. There's a, then there's an intro. The intros are about uh, 12 to 15 minutes of me kind of explaining what the podcast is and never successfully doing that. So for some people, especially new, you could say, what are you, like, uh, 
could throw you off because you say, what is it? Why don't you, uh, or when does the bedtime story start? And uh, so normally, uh, right, it would take a while. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, normally people get to the point. I think that's what I meant. I couldn't even get to the point there. This one, it's more, I meander to the point because uh, the the intro is kind of part of a lot of listeners' bedtime. Listeners might listen, start listening to it before, as they're getting ready for bed. Or as they're in bed, you know, sinking into bed, you know, getting comfortable and winding down. Some listeners skip the intro, like a small percentage of listeners that skip ahead to the story. Uh, so it does take a while for me to explain what the podcast is unsuccessfully or kind of. You say I almost got there. Uh, but it's part of kind of uh, setting up the safe place, I guess. It's like one of those old tents that takes, for, you know, instead of a pop-up tent, uh I got one of the old fangled. You say, is that a new fangled tent you got there, Scoots? Or no, this is an old, this is a, I don't know. It, it, this is a one tent that's got 8,000 parts. I don't even know how many, it's going to take me forever to get it up. Uh, but, you know, once I do, uh, it'll be time to go to bed. Uh, so that'll, it'll help me. Like, uh, I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> I don't know if any tents come in uh, little pieces. Yeah, but so that's the intro. Then there'll be some business between the intro and the show. And then um, for the show tonight, I'm not sure. It'll be a surprise. It'll be a random uh, trending Tuesday style episode, as we call them. Then the show ends with some thank yous and some good nights. Uh, So that's structurally what to expect. Uh, A couple other things that you don't need to listen to me. You can kind of listen or I don't want to put any pressure on you to listen. Uh, really, I've had I had a, a couple encounters recently, like it was one with family members and then two online where people said, you know, I love the show so much. I really loved, uh, I, I thought of something you said that was really funny or interesting, but then I fell asleep and forgot about it. And that's like a great compliment in this case. And I say, yeah, you can kind of listen to me in the moment. I guess that's what it is. I don't know if I've ever captured this before. Momentary listening. I mean, really part of the podcast is kind of about being kind of in the moment and like uh, like for you, getting comfortable and, and uh, sinking in or nesting or whatever, you know, to- you know, the, the, be- the good kind of tossing and turning at the beginning or you ever toss and turn, like like sometimes there's, like I say, tossing and turning, mind racing, trouble getting to sleep. But so even even uh, recently, like last night, I slept, like I've been on a not great sleeping streak, but last night I slept great. And I can remember doing some, like in the middle of the night, doing some tossing and turning. It was like, this does happen. I can, I can tell some of you could relate to this, like positive toss, where you like, I mean, I literally tossed one of my pillows and grabbed a fresh one. It then burrowed back down and went right. And I said, Ooh, and this was like one of those stereo. I said, Ooh, this pillow is nice and cool and it feels fresh. It, you know, it hasn't been smudged down like I've been smudging my other pillows the whole night. Uh, and then I, so that was like a tossing and turning. I can just picture an imaginary person like just tossing, like uh, that's what I was doing. I said, Hey, pillow, it's been great, but uh, pillow bye. And I grab another pillow. I say, yeah, hey, how you doing? Uh, so what was my point in all that? Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, but I'm here to help. Uh, oh, you don't need to listen to me? Was that what I was saying? Here's the other thing. No pressure to fall asleep. As strange as that sounds, this is not really a podcast to put you to sleep. Uh, so much is to be here as you fall asleep or in case you can't sleep or in case you wake back up. Uh, or in case you're having a tough day, any of those things, the podcast will be here kind of to comfort you uh, or uh, reassure you in a passive sense. I, I don't know. Like I said, with that, what would I say that? Uh, I saw, I think I invented a new way of listening, and then I totally forgot what it was, J- just like I was explaining how that ha- happens with listeners. What did I say? It wasn't passive listening. It was like a toss... <laughs> I don't know what it was. You say, well, I, yeah, I didn't really need to listen. Uh, optional listening? It was something more catchy than that. Maybe I'll remember it. Uh, but so you don't need to listen to me. The reason the shows are about an hour is, uh, like, so you can drift off at your leisure. 
Or if you can't sleep, you know I'm going to be here. And then you you know you can queue up episode after episode. Or if you, you know, some people like to use a timer so that, you know, they listen to 30 minutes. Then if they wake back up, they can start it again. Uh, so, but no pressure to fall asleep. Uh, no pressure to listen. And I make the show because I do believe, I wish, I do wish I could remember what that kind of listening was. Uh, not forgetful listening, because that sounds too loaded, but uh, inadvertent. No, it's like a kind of listening where you don't have to listen. I was celebrating not listening to me, and I don't think I was told <laughs> some part of my brain was not listening. Oh, but that makes me think of that ode I wrote once upon a time, Betwixt Two Twixt. Uh, no one's listen, listening all the time, yet no one hears. But it is the joy uh, that, you know, it makes me not want to rhyme or with the word arrears. Uh, here at camp, uh, my heart dances still. Outside, don't use windowsill, but you just did, because outside my window, the night uh, sings with joy. And here I lie betwixt the two twixt, still just a boy. Oh, boy. So, uh, I don't know. So you don't need to listen to me. No pressure to fall asleep. I'm here to help. Uh, because, you, you, like uh, like I said, I've been there. And and I really want to take your mind off of stuff, keep you company, give you a little bit of space to either drift off or to, you know, do, breathe in and relax. Uh, or just so, so when you're, if you're, the show does work for you and it becomes part of your routine, they could say, well, you know, t t today was very human. It was, a, you know, 10 out of 10 for uh, humanity. And, you know, last night was, you know, not that good. But so, but at least I got scoots to, uh, you know, kind of entertain me. And whatever that new kind of listening he forgot was, uh, I, you know, I don't even really have to listen. I don't even have to fall asleep. I can just kind of chill. Or you know, pet pet the cat, or you know, you could even I don't I don't, I've never I never tried to read and listen to my own podcast, and I, don't, I can't read and listen to other podcasts, so that probably wouldn't work. Maybe if you looked at a picture book or something, or a magazine, you could probably like uh, handle a magazine in the podcast. Maybe I don't know your choice, whatever works for you. Uh, but here, that's the thing. I'm here to help. Uh, give it a few tries. That's what almost every listener. Uh, over the years, has said took two or three tries uh, before the podcast worked. Uh, but I'm glad you're here. Uh, I work very hard. I yearn and I strive, and I'd like to help you fall asleep. Thanks again for coming by. Uh, hey, everybody! Before we get to the story here, you might have heard the update. You know, the show's crossed some milestones: 800 episodes. Uh, shows impacted hundreds and hundreds of thousands, maybe millions of people, and allowed them to get a good night's sleep. And really, that is because of. Uh, like the the people that have taken action to support the show, the rebels with their cause that have said, sleep with me is valuable to me. It's a part of my life. And I want to be it out. I want it to be out there free in the world. And coming up here in uh, September, we're going to be doing something really fun. So if you've ever been a patron, whether you are one now or you were one in the past, or you want to become one, uh, do it now, but before September 15th, because uh, that's when we're, that's going to be the cutoff date for this exciting thing we're doing. But really, just become a patron. If you're in a position to do so financially, you really do feel like you get value out of the podcast and you want it to be free for everybody and be there when you need it. And you feel like, you know, being wild, you say, well, yeah, I pay all these corporations monthly fees. So let me pay for a podcast I get a lot out of uh, that's there for me. And I want it to be there for other people, too. It's really generous. So those of you that have already done that or have done it in the past, thank you so much. Like, I do say it, and I think it's easy to kind of tune it out. This podcast wouldn't be here without you, without your action. I'm really indebted to you uh, because you are the wind in my sails. You are the water uh, that, you know, waters the soil or whatever, uh, the, the nutrients uh, that allow the, the, the seed to grow. Uh, so thank you so much. And if you're, you know, if you're, if you're newer or you uh, say, oh, wait a second. Yeah, I've been, I've been thinking about becoming a patron. Uh, you do it between now and September 15th so, so you can get in on this thing we're going to be doing. It's going to be fun. 
and it's going to be celebratory. Uh, but, uh, yeah, just wanted to thank you so much. Uh, sleepwithmepodcast.com slash patrons, how you become a rebel with the cause. Thanks. All right. Hey, everybody. It's the Scoots here. And uh, another episode, uh, this one is uh, influenced. Uh, w- 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 you may be hearing some stuff. Uh, you say, Scoots, where did that come from? I'd say it was from the fishes. Uh, like we've been using the fish uh, baker's dozen from 2017, uh, which was a set of 13 shows, uh, Fish Played at Madison Square Garden, where they didn't repeat a song. And it's just become a good source of uh, randomization because you have all of those songs. Uh, so if you're wondering where any of this stuff, uh, you say, Scoots, where'd you come, where did any of this come up from? Maybe it was from that. Uh, but we had a lot of uh, feedback from our enrobed uh, robe shop. Uh, that was, uh, I think... Uh, I don't think it was, I can't remember, it was Reginald Kuzak, I think, was the proprietor of that shop. And uh, so I'm going to turn it over to, to they They said, uh, well, we actually have this uh, skincare routine, and we'd like to come back on the show uh, and uh, talk about it. I said, okay, well, sounds good. It sounds better than good, actually. So they're going to come on. I'm going to turn the podcast over to them. And uh, the, so it'll be another, I think it'll be a lot to learn. Uh, so I guess without further ado, you might say, so, wait a second, you turn the pod. Yeah, so, so you know, to keep the podcast going, we always rely on direct listener action. Yeah, but to fill in the great gaps, because, you know, most people are asleep, I said, well, I turned over these, uh, the, the Kuzaks, because uh, they, they're, I don't know, they, they're willing to, uh, they actually haven't paid me, to be honest. I was expecting a robe, uh, but, you know, we'll, I don't have to worry about that. Okay, so here you go. Well, h- hello, everybody. My name is uh, Aretha K- Kuzak. Uh, I know you've worked with my brother. Welcome Welcome into my shop. Uh, you might be saying, "There's this is a shop with nothing in here." I see some. Is this a was this a hair? Well, there's a lot of comfortable chairs. So come in and have a seat. Maybe you want to even lie down. We do have places to lie down and get comfortable. And yeah, this is a shop where the products uh, you, you you know will provide. Don't worry. Uh, now I wanted to talk to you because you're here. Because you probably heard a lot about a different, you know, over the last couple of years, a lot of skincare routines have gotten popular. And a lot of people blog about them. A lot of people are using them. There's the 10 step uh, Korean skincare regimen, which is probably the most talked about. And, uh, you know, we here at the, the Kuzak family, you know, the Kuzak family of businesses, uh, you know, we we started with robes and thinking about how robes are more than you know. There's something that enrobe you, and express you. And we've also been involved in many other things. You know, this your skin is is uh, like uh, is the largest organ on your body, according to most people. And you might say it has two sides. You know, the, like uh, the, like uh, so. We, we want to talk about. Uh, the inside and the outside. And and we've learned, you know, from the robe business that it's easier to talk about the outside stuff uh, and just to tell you, because you're, you know, a perfectly reasonable, intelligent person that, uh, well, you know, when we're talking about that stuff, uh, we're also talking about the, the care, not just, a, you know, the, the, we say what's the most important organ and some people might say, well, it's this, or we'd say, well, uh, you, you know, it all comes down to you. And so we're looking at it. They call it self-care, your skin care, self-care. Uh, they're in alignment. Uh, so we wanted to go through what we're presenting as our, you know, the products we have here and the, the uh, you know, the things we have uh, as a part of our skincare routine. And you, you could say, well, okay. And, and, you know, some people said, well, is this, and we'll see, we're, this will give you a base and you don't have to use the products here that we've customized for you. 
And you can go, you can do, you know, these routines are known to be done in order. Uh, but, you know, you don't have to do them in order. Should you do it at nighttime or should you do it at daytime? Uh, th- you know, those are those are also fair, fair questions. And uh, so we do have a 20-step program that we're going to lay out to, to you tonight. Uh, and it is v- very based on some of these things. We say, well, those are 10 steps. We have actually 20 steps Uh and we think, you know, I'm going to walk you through the steps here tonight. And you might say, well, I'm not sure all these steps are for me. It, it sounds like a bit of a, a lot of work. And uh, I don't know, you'll think if for us it's the sound of the steps as much as it is the steps. Uh, so our first step, you know, just like in the other routines, you know, cleansing. And we're going to pretend this is an evening routine. And a, a, a part of the wind down, and some of these don't even involve products, and a lot of them are influenced by uh, things in our lives or things we know. And the first one we call now, this is a hundred percent free, and that's why we're kind of, you know it, it's just, just something we call, but we don't call it as a business. I just call it a strawberry fields forever. And this is a technique where you take your finger, it's basically a facial massage where you're pretending your fingertips are uh, running through, like pitter-pattering through strawberry fields in the evening. Oh, they're breathing the air and celebrating. You could start at your chin. If you're listening with me right now, you could do it. Uh, for 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 the start, you could use... Uh, what I like to do, and I guess this is just my imagination, is I imagine my thumb is a, what are those things called, a pole vaulter, uh, enabling everything else that's happening, which I guess is strange. But the first thing you do is you, if you take your thumbs and you place them just underside of your chin, like right on the bone, your jawbone, and then just reach your fingers up towards your cheek and sweep them down gently. That's always a good way to start your stretching. Then maybe reach your fingers back uh, to the back of your jaw and slide them forward very gently. We're not even massaging at this point. We're just uh, swooping, I guess you'd say. Uh, then if you go like about a, a little few, few, you know, towards the, the, your nostrils, under your eyes, where your sinuses might be, with your fingers and swoop gently outward, uh, away towards your ears. Yeah, this part is more of a swooping than a strawberry field running, but we're preparing. Uh, and then at some point as you do this swooping, I'm, I'm going to pause for a second and swoop myself. Uh, what I like to do, I do, I just had to do it so I remembered, uh, thanks for indulging me, is, uh, I like to do the swoop from uh, my sinuses towards my ears, but, but then I kiss my f- thumb with my index finger. So instead of going towards my ears, I, then I circle back down towards my jaw, and I kiss my thumb, and that's the ki- strawberry kiss. Uh, and then I just let my fingertips start to run around my cheeks and pitter-patter around my jaw, and this is a self-massage, so you could, like, uh, we're just doing it lightly. And I guess one of the ideas is a light tapping gives, you know, may uh, may or may not bring a strawberry hue to your face. Uh, but we're imagining that. Uh, yeah, you're starting to imagine you're feeling a strawberry hue. And your fingertips are just kind of dancing on your face a little bit, a pitter-pattering, or if you prefer... Again, have them play playfully with your ears and then to your forehead. And then maybe find some places for a little bit more massaging. Maybe you want your fingers to spend some more time uh, just kneading. You know, they say, well, now I'm uh, here in the strawberry fields. I think I'm going to knead this ground like a cat. And maybe instead of the idea of massaging, sometimes I find with my clients... uh, the idea of kneading or exploring. Your fingers 
are saying, hey, let me check this out. Like, uh, you could also uh, pretend you're an a- amateur phrenologist of the forehead or the cheek instead of the head. And you're just kind of getting, to, you could say, hey, let me get to know myself a little bit better here. You say, oh, wow. I never noticed that uh, way that bone feels there. Uh, that's kind of nice. Uh, and maybe you're singing Strawberry Fields Forever to yourself. And maybe you're not. You say, oh. Now, remember, always be gentle. And, you, you, you know, you, you can use one finger or you could use the maul. Anytime you want to have a little bit more leverage, you could feel me feeling my cheek right now. I'm saying, and now I'm even noticing a cheek. Uh, see, oh, there's a little thing there in my cheek uh, bone. And you're just doing that. I mean, you, oh, I said, anytime you want some more leverage, just use your thumb on the bottom of your jaw. And, you know, again, you're just treating your face kindly. And now the best thing about the, this first step of the routine is you could do it, you know, as long as your hands are clean. You know, I guess, you know, it's up to you, but I'd say that's probably a good idea. Policy is uh, you could do it anytime. You know, anytime you need a, like a 10-step or 20-step uh, piece of skin care and you only want to do one step, uh, you might be somewhere and you say, oh, boy, this, you know, you say, okay, let me just... Uh, let me just, you know, maybe even do, pretend you're sending, uh, what is that called? Uh, uh, so, uh, br- uh, yeah, pretend you're sending Morse code messages uh, through your temple or your forehead. So that's a little bit about uh, how to do it. Uh, so now we enter into the cleansing stage. And now everybody knows you do an oil cleanse and a foam cleanse, or maybe you don't know. And we do have a, an oil cleanser here, and uh, we also have a technique. So we sell both together, but I also teach you the technique for free. So you say, well, uh, like, uh, so you could use this technique, or you can use uh, the cleanser that is in the same name, which is called Halley's Comets. And uh, this, you, so you say, okay, I'm, I'm familiar with the oil cleanser or I'm not. Well, you're going to clean your face with an oil cleanse. And the reason I call it Halley's Comet, it, now Halley's Comet was a comet that only comes around once in a while. And I want you to set that intention uh, uh, that we're changing. Well, it's two things. You only come once in a while, around once in a while. And I mean that in the sense that uh, you're special is special to me is Haley's Comet, and I want you to sometimes say that to yourself in the mirror. Yeah, but we're also going to, do, as we start to practice this uh, skin care, self care routine, you're going to start to imagine that uh, you're, you're do, if you're doing this every night, even in a lighter fashion, you'd say, You're as important to me as Haley's Comet was uh, to the, com- you know, the Comet Watchers of the 80s. Or the you know the you you, you say oh I, like uh, you know you know what I mean you're taking something special and you're giving it to yourself on a regular basis. Uh, but this is our oil cleanser as well, and it has a, so what you're going to do is you want to apply it to a dry skin. And again, you could read about the basics of you know you know the the, 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 the you could this is an adaptable routine. Uh, but I do like to use a, like a, a, a sweeping method as I'm imagining my fingers and my fingertips uh, being the comet coming across the sky. And the idea of the using of the oil, you know, is it, it, it cleans one type of thing. Because you may say, well, I have oily skin. And yeah, we're getting off uh, some of the stuff that the oil-based, uh, like the, the oil cleaners will clean. And we're also kind of getting a second, you know, in some sense, we're getting a second, uh, a second thing. So you're going to massage it in. And as you do that, uh, you're going to, uh, you're going to, um, use, uh, you're going to use a little bit of water. You could use lukewarm water and you're going to massage that in. 
And uh, then, yeah, you like, and, and I like to massage it. And again, in swoops, uh, we've already swooped our skin with the strawberry fields. Now we're imagining comets crossing our face, uh, of you know, cleaning out. That you'd say, you could also say, Hey, I'm hitching uh, this, these things. I'm, you know, hey, Haley's Comet, take my blues away. And we also offer, uh, we do offer, like, a, we do offer another product I just is thinking about offering one day, which we could do in this stage. You know, if, you, if you're one that says, well, I do prefer, this is my wind-down routine. So, sure, my skin care takes uh, 30 minutes, but it's part of my relaxation. It's, you know, people lose sight of that when they say, 20-step skin care, how overindulgent uh, you see, you know, this is a self-care. It don't get, the, you know, this also the largest, you know, by the way, largest organ in the body probably I've heard. Also, uh, you know, don't judge, don't, don't judge a book by its cover, by uh, like how it most, you know, it's not about the cover. It's about the inside. Or you might be saying, well, this doesn't seem like it's for me. You say, well, would you like a 30-minute relaxation routine? So you're going to, uh, you're going to wet your face and you're going to, um, you're going to clean, all, you know, you're, 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 you're massaging and taking the oil away and you're rinsing. And then, and then you have, uh, you, you're done with Haley's Comet or you could take as long as you want, uh, now, our next step is, is we're still in the cleanse. Now, we're going to use a water-based cleanser. And this is going to take, you know, de deal with some of the dirt and some of the, you know, the other things uh, that may be on our face. Now, we don't use the, the I word here uh, or, or the P word. So, we don't use M and we don't use purity uh, because we say, we're, we're again, we're, we're talking about the more human side uh, but those are, uh, if you're using them in a fact, a science-based way, you could, you know, if you have a more science-based approach to your skincare, that's fine too. Use the verbiage in the nouns, uh, in the words you feel comfortable using. Yeah, but this is water the thing. We call it the MoMA dance. Uh, and it is influenced, you know, you may have heard of that term before. But again, cleansing to us, as you probably picked up on, is about as much about the cleanser that we sell uh, as the technique. And that's why they share a name. And that is, we say, take it for free. You know, or use our cleansers, which are, you know, just our superior products. And we believe we don't really need to talk about how superior they are. Because uh, when you see the price, you'll say, oh, that must be a superior product because, uh, I have a Honda that costs us, and I say, well, you're in the right shop then. And we do believe in, uh, you know, packaging, uh, you know, in, in a responsible, sustainable way, but also in a way, so we, we do have nighttime and daytime versions of our products, which just have slightly different scents and slightly different colorations uh, and barely noticeable formulations because uh, you say, well, we're, and you say, well, and we can also customize them for you. You say, well, what, what kind of colors do you like at your nighttime? Uh, but as you perform the MoMA dance, you, you're going to take the techniques you already learned uh, in the first stages, and you're going to dance uh, your face clean with our water-based cleanser. Uh, your face is already a little bit damp and... Uh, you're going to use, you know, we prefer, like, to dance in ovals. Like, uh, so as a MoMA dance, uh, you could picture yourself in a ball gown, uh, swooping around the room, or, you know, you don't have to. You could picture yourself uh, skating in figure eights or uh, dancing in figure eights. And that is a slowly, slowly uh, clearing things out. Uh, and that is the MoMA dance. Uh, and the next stage uh, is, uh, we call it breath and burping here. At, uh, uh, at, uh, at, uh, we don't have a name for our shop either. I'm thinking, you know, 
skin and self care. Just to, but uh, we're gonna do a little exfoliation, and that's just gonna help uh, give bring a breath. Uh, you know, I say burp because you say okay, but like uh, I don't know. I just find that as a holistic way to describe uh, exfoliation to me. Like you're not actually burping your skin, but you're giving it uh, the clarity. Uh, to breathe and to burp, uh, and also for absorption, which is a you know big part of our next uh, stage of our routine. And uh, so we actually believe it or not, we have two exfoliators. Uh, so the first stage is uh, the, the breath and the burping, uh, and you're gonna apply that and do a gentle rub, and that is uh, like a. It just lays a foundation. We can't tell you about the ingredients, but there are, you know, ingredient, you know, very uh, uh, healthy ingredients uh, uh, that are in most of the same cleansers. Uh, and that's one aspect of our exfoliation. Now, the next side, this is where we double it. Uh, and you're also going to know our, our products uh, tend to be very light on the face as you feel them. But again, that's the technique you see. Okay. And breathing, you're even just setting your intention. Uh, so that's one stage. And then the next stage we call uh, the funky pop. Uh, and uh, because, uh, like, usually ours has uh, ingredients to do a little bit of physical exfoliation. And, you know, in other products you'll see sugars or uh, beads or other, uh, you know, things. So just to help do a little physical uh Exfoliation and, and just having that uh, first layer on, I think, helps because, you see, we don't want to over-exfoliate, right? We just want to uh, do it. Uh, so, again, we're thinking about just using that. Uh, this is where you can really connect to skin to skin because you're thinking about just using, it, at least this is imaginary, and this is, again, a technique uh, We you say this is a funky pup. Uh, is you, I want you to think about... And again, this is over time, and this is to give you a chance to unwind and connect. Is uh, thinking about those little, uh, imagine it was just, uh, I know it's like, uh, what is the molecule that your finger between the fingertip on your finger and your face? Uh, is it a bead? Is it a sugar? Let's just say it's, can you feel the sugar uh, dissolving? Can you feel the grain? as you gently massage it. And, and actually, that's part of our technique and, uh, you know, where our product is, is, is it, can you feel it dissolving? Uh, another thing to imagine is uh, a temperature transfer. Is, is my body heat going from my fingertips to my face or my face to my fingertips? Or maybe if you're really into this in a deep and meditative way, my body heat and the liquid within me and the liquids on my face and the warmth in my fingertips, the warmth in my cheek or my forehead is now going into this grain and dissolving it. Uh, so, the, and, and then you the, the just use this as a very gentle, one way to think about the motion, this is one of the most gentle stages of our process is to take your, uh, Middle finger and your index finger. Press your thumb into them, and then gently rub uh, the, the, your, the pad of your thumb against the tips of your fingers. Uh, and just feel that motion. That's relaxing in and of itself. And you could practice uh, the, the, our exfoliation techniques. Uh, you know, if you say, "Well, I really want to get this down," you know, take a grain of sugar or salt. You know, or sand, whatever it is, and, and, and test that out. Test out the uh, thumb and two-finger technique. Uh, or even the heat transfer. Say, is my thumb giving heat to my fingers? Or is my fingers giving heat to my thumb? Are they, you know, you say, well, you really, when you take the time to feel, you feel things. Uh, you know, that sounds... Uh, a bit obvious, but of course, you know, we have uh, all the other things going on. And again, there's no right or wrong way to practice a 20 step uh, rigorous skin. You know, let's, we're taking the rigor out of this rigorous skincare routine. 
because I think that's the outside judgment. You're carving out a space uh, for your care. So I, I don't know. Maybe I'm also thinking this will be brainstorming uh, for our, uh, you know, the name, you know, the future name of our shop. Now, again, we have another stage coming up here. Now, normally this would be a one-stage uh, thing, uh, but we uh, we have a two-stage thing here. And these are uh, preparation and repair. So we break that into two things, uh, uh, the preparation and uh, the repair. Uh, so we're, the, And these are our toner stages, uh, and you could use a reusable cotton pad, which we sell here, or you could use a disposable one, or you could just gently use your fingers uh, with our toners. And our first toner is is called Mound. Uh, we have our 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 our, our, our two uh, toners are very simply named because that's what I want you to, you to think about is a, is a mound on your finger. I want you to just put a, a mound, like a small dollop. Uh, and we have infographics also on all of her products. You say, well, what does that mean? I mean don't worry, we show you. Uh, but for, for now, I just want you to imagine a mound of uh, our first toner which is another, like, it's a clean cleansing of the cleansing. And, uh, again, you're taking the mound and then you're spreading it down. And you say, well, how, what motion? And you say, well, it depends. If you're using a pad, uh, I like to use, uh, like, a, like, a, like, a clockwise, counterclockwise. Whatever I'm feeling, I say, okay, I'm feeling your counterclockwise on my right cheek and a clockwise on my left cheek. Uh, and this is a very thin clen- cl- uh, toner. And, you know, other people will say, oh, that's, uh, there's, uh, we'd say, well, that's, let's uh, just agree to disagree. And then we're going to move on to our next uh, toner and, and technique, uh, which we simply call foam. And this is, uh, has uh, some restorative aspects to it, uh, and there's some, you know, ingredients you may smell, uh, like a slight uh, citrus, a licorice. Uh, uh, but this one is going to really help, uh, uh, and it's going to help with the absorption. Uh, so you're going to notice this one is slightly, uh, it has a different feel uh, th- than the previous stage. And again, you might say, well, what it, this sounds, and you say, well, if you want to use one toner, you can. Uh, or if you want to use both of our toners, you can. Or if you say, well, it's like, uh, we just want you to think about this and give you the options. And we separate them for e- efficacy, to be honest with you. Uh, because now you're, you're, you know, the absorb- absorptive nature of your skin uh, is being repaired. Uh, with foam, which it is a foam, uh, it's not a foam cleanser, and it's a, a powerful foam. So you just need a tiny bit again. I would say the size of the pad and your index finger, and you know you can use this on a cotton pad or uh, on your fingertip. Uh, you know we we don't uh, have a thing. And this one I do suggest uh, just uh, is uh, to, to use a side-to-side motion or an up-and-down motion, like pretending like a wave uh, of foam crashing on the shore uh, against your face. Uh, so you're just kind of like using some imagination, like waves of this uh, f- this toner coming in. And so that's our foam stage. Uh and you uh, say, so say, well, we're already getting in some extra things. And we say, yes. Uh, and our next stage is uh, the essence stage, as it's known. And, you know, these ones we can, again, customize. If you say, well, I'm looking for something more natural. I'm looking for these ingredients. Uh, and uh, this is a multi-staged uh, thing again. 
as opposed to, 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 to some of the other ones. So uh, we do have uh, two layers of essence uh, that do uh, rely on one another, but again, you could use our techniques independently or on your own. Uh, but the first one is something, and again, this is the first one where we're going to, again, we're going to take this essence, this first essence, and you're going to say, this essence is for me, uh, for you. You're going to talk to your skin. It's called Roger. And we want you to say it like that. And maybe even as you're applying it, uh, not so much to pinch yourself, uh, but you're just going to, like, like instead of using a typical patting technique, uh, which is popular, you're going to do a, uh, like, not like a massage, instead of a massage, uh, you're going to do a, uh, I don't know, again, a little bit more, uh, like, almost like you're touching dough. You're not kneading, but I guess a light kneading. I guess that's, I guess that's what I'm trying to say, uh, with your fingertips into your face, uh, and you might say, well, that's not good. And they say, okay, that's why we have a two stages here. So you're going to take the rocher and you're going to go and you can do your neck as well, if you like, and the underside below. You could feel me doing it to myself now. And again, I think you're going to you say, wow, I, we've given my face so much attention but this kneading is relieving another stage of tension. And we'd say, yes, so that is what we're doing here, is uh, we're giving you more. Uh, and again, optional. You say, well, I'd like to use this one when I get off a plane all by, it does just fine on its own. I'd say it does. Uh, uh, but again, you can purchase these for, from us. And you say, whoa, like, uh, that's only for one one month of uh, 50% of your essence program. And I'd say, yes, but, uh, you know, it is the best. I mean, what can I tell you? Uh, 20, 20 steps, uh, you know, you could say 10 for the outside and 10 for the inside. That wouldn't be true, but it would be uh, a way to market. Uh, so after Roger, uh, you're going to have the next application of our essence, because again, you see, well, that essence doesn't feel spread around 100%. And that is because the next stage of uh, essence is called the squirming coil. And again, I want you to imagine, and this is, you know, these, these are things uh, that science would probably uh, agree with, if you know, depending on the study and who funded it. Uh, the squirming coil... I want you to take your imagination. I want you to go deep down and imagine, just imagine, you're not actually doing this with the coil of your DNA. You're saying, well, you know, you're coiled all the time. Uh, RNA, you know, holy ribonucleic, uh, you, know, you know, RNA, DNA, I love they. Uh, and you're going to, you know, the, the swarming coil is a little bit of another technique. Uh, and again, these are all uh, facial care uh, techniques, uh, again, to be used lightly and gently. Uh, but you're going to bring your fingers, uh, and this one we do suggest to put on with your fingertips, uh, into a pinch where your thumb and all four of your fingers are meeting at the center you're going to put the toner right on your all of your fingertips and your thumb tip. Uh, and then you're going to go up to your face. You're going to do a little turn. You're going to do a little coiling and uncoiling. So counterclockwise or clockwise. And, uh, you know, just get to know your face. And then you're going to do that motion. You're going to keep all of them unified. You know, we do have another surprise step coming up soon, but... Uh, then start to use the, the, like a like a circular oval technique with your finger and thumb and thumb tips uh, around your face, your forehead, and your neck. Uh, really sp spreading that toner in and uh, spreading it around, uh, and that's a swarming coil. Uh, now the next stage of this is you uh, typically the serum stage uh, they call it. Uh, we like to call it the syrup stage, uh, just because we think that uh, sounds good. And uh, the first one is called uh, Down With D. 
and uh, we we uh, the, the, so we do have a two stage uh, syrup stage, and for a lot of people they are syrup like uh, the, 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 we do make them just feel a little bit syrupy compared to some other products, uh, but still thin. Like as soon as you when you first touch it, you say this feels like a syrup uh, and not a serum or whatever the other terms they call call treatments or whatever. Uh, but again, our products are designed with your warmth of your body and motion. And as soon as you feel, as soon as it touches your skin, it, give it a second. Uh, especially when the kiss of your fingertips to your face begins, uh, it will become light. You'll wonder if it was immediately absorbed. And down with D is is about. Uh, uh, just, uh, you know, it's kind of like a down with negativity. It is a, a syrup, a treatment, uh, designed with you in mind. So you say, okay, my number one concern is, is this, uh, uh, and you would say, now this one is a, uh, uh, we don't change the ingredients for anyone because we say, okay, one of the main things that can affect your skin is negativity, whether uh, it's inside or outside or around all sides. Uh, and so we're saying down with D. And that just is the way uh, the, the, I wasn't in charge of titling it, but that's just the title of it, uh, this uh, particular serum. Uh, but in, like in all stages of customization, some things don't need to be customized, uh, and this is one of them. So you're saying, oh, wait a second, uh, so we don't need to be negative, right? Uh, and we say, yes, right. Uh, but, it, you, you know, that's easier to say than to do. Now, this is a real serum. It has real ingredients for your skin. Uh, what, we want, what we want you to do is, again, you could use any of the finger techniques uh, to apply it. Uh, with this one, you will notice uh, it does, uh, record, like, it just benefits from some motion. But again, we want you to set your, set your t intention uh, to your skin and that, and that you and your skin have been impacted. Was were, were you impacted today by some negativity? Was it on the inside? Was it on the outside? And then as you're applying this serum, now the serum's not, you know, again, we're, we're, we're skin care and self-care. Uh, you know, so you're just talking to yourself. You're talking to your skin and you're just listening. You're saying, huh, was you, oh, maybe you want to elaborate. Maybe you just want to say, oh, you were impacted by something negative today. You might want to say, I'm sorry. You might want to breathe it out if you say, well, that was negativity was inside. How does that feel? Oh, oh. oh, so let me massage. Okay, and maybe, and again, some of this may be just imagination. Again, skin care and self-care is only part of a greater holistic care, you know, or, or care. You know, you, you have, uh, we're just here to provide, you know, we're just a, 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 a shop, you know. We are but uh, one tiny part of the toolbox. Uh, so, you know, this is also part of your greater toolbox. We want you to have that. Uh, and you might say that, well, maybe I need to, maybe you have a notepad nearby, uh, which all of our kits come with. Uh, and you say, oh, well, let me call that. I, I, let me, you know, I need to look into that a little bit more. Or maybe, again, you're thinking about something negative, uh, or you might say, well, I don't even, you know, might be being negative about negativity. Or, you know, might say, whatever it is, uh, there's no wrong way except to acknowledge uh, that it's not easy and that your skin's and you are impacted by that. Uh, but it's also, about, you know, part of our, uh, our serum, uh, which again is uh, made from extraordinary ingredients. Uh, that are very good for your skin. Now, the next stage, we, we can customize it. Uh, you say, well, I'm primarily concerned with this, or I'm primarily concerned with that. Uh, and we change it. Now, this one is called Strawberry Letter 23. You might say, well, I've heard of that song. 
and we do add the number because we could change. We will we'll change the number that we're uh, designing it. When you get it, it'll always be strawberry number twenty-three. And I don't know if that makes sense to you, but you say, well, uh, you know, I, I prefer. You know, I live. I, I I commute for work, so I'm looking for a serum in a you know that deals with that. I've been in a car all day, or you know, I I'm, I'm fly I fly a lot. Uh, and so we would design a serum for you based on, you know, our expertise here. And then we'd say, okay, that's strawberry letter 1046 is ZQPA BQD5 uh, 47 uh, 16. But when, when you bought it, it would be strawberry letter 23. We, we would have a place on the label, the, the code, where we would know that. Uh, but for you, it would always be strawberry letter 23. And again, this serum is about taking that foundation and saying here, like after someone breathes out uh, the breath back in, you say, whew, I breathed out from that negative, you know, that you acknowledged me, you saw me. And we'd like you to look in the mirror if you can. And we know that's not easy. So maybe you just want to barely glance up. Maybe you want to imagine you're looking at it and see yourself and just say, I see you. Uh, uh, strawberry letter twenty three is uh, is just a, a, a part of that process. Uh, we see you, you're saying, huh? Negativity. Uh, I heard that. Now I see you. And you know there is a little bit of strawberry in the strawberry letter twenty three. Uh, which is why it's called that. Uh, but that's just part of you know it's just part of the routine. Uh, and the serum, and again, that will be customized for you. Uh, and then our next thing is uh, we go on to uh, what people call the sheet masks, right? Uh, those are like, and you say, well, you, how are you going to have two sheet masks, correct? And, you know, we do do that in a way uh, that is very easy. Our first sheet mask is very much like many of the other sheet masks, in the sense that it, uh, it uh, we call it birds of a feather, and it is uh, like a lot of sheet masks. It does the same purpose. You're going to put it on uh, again. This can be like a part of your uh, uh, like these are con- you know this is a, a definitely a, a concentrated essence in this, and it has uh, nutrients to absorb and moisture. You know, and this is where you lie down with, with both our masks because we do have two. And so you'll put on uh, birds of a feather and kind of the birds of the feather also, it's a reminder, uh, you know, that, 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 that there's a greater world out there that we're all, you know, that. Uh, so they say, well, I wasn't like as you're moving through that negativity, maybe or maybe not, you know, you don't need to go anywhere to do skin care. Uh, but you say, huh, I'm part of a, a part of a whole. It's not easy being anybody, I guess, is the point of birds of a feather. And we do have messages written out. I know some people might say this is a, a and, 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 but our customers give us messages to put on the masks. Uh, and we find that it's a good reminder. Uh, and we would like to eventually put uh, you know, more things to remind you that you're part of the world. Uh, and so that's birds of a feather. Then you, we have uh, something to put over the eyes. Uh, we do. It's uh, now it's not cute. It's not. It does. It might have cucumber in it. It is like uh, it is something you put over your eyes, and we call it. I always wanted it that way because when you put it on with along with birds of a feather, uh, you're going to say, "Holy cow!" This uh, is. Uh, accurately titled i've never i've had uh, masks before uh but nothing like this uh and this will help you relax and and here's the thing some of our customers actually fall asleep after you putting both of these on which is fine if you leave them on for longer that you could put them put them on for five minutes or you could put them on uh and wake up in the evening uh, later and take them off and complete your skincare routine or the morning. Again, I, I guess a lot of people see this as uh, 
uh, again, they say, oh, rigorous uh, skincare routine, or, oh, how, like, uh, or again, oh, indulgent, or, you know, beauty uh, shines from within, because uh, it's really about the light within you. As some people will say, you, know, may, you may not uh, say that, uh, but we, we, we care, uh, again, think about where everywhere your skin is, uh, and while we are focused on the skin on your face, it's just because, uh, we, we, it's the one you see the most uh, when you're looking in the mirror. And it's just, it, it does need a little bit more of your uh, attention, uh, cause it is a part of you that's out there in the world. Uh, so we don't want you to get focused on that B word either. Uh, but when you're, so go ahead and relax, uh. Oh, but I was saying, so you can do this in the morning, 6.30 to 7 a.m. Uh, you know, some people just, uh, again, you're carving out time for you. Or you could do this a shorter version. Uh, this is your day. And again, you, you know, uh, just to see how it goes and adapt uh, as you wish. Or come into our shop uh you know, when it opens, uh, right now, it's a inv right now, you know, because we don't really need a shop title because uh, we only accept customers that, you know, until this point, until working with Scooter, it has been only, uh, not invite only, just because of the, again, the pricing. People uh, only come to us when they know of us. Uh, they've bought a robe. Uh, again, when you've paid, you say, is that a robe or a Royals, Ro Rolls Royce? Uh, uh, someone once said to my brother, and he said, uh, this is more than either one. Uh, it's for you. Uh, so, again, but this is, uh, we're opening our techniques up to everyone. This is free to use or free to use with any products. Uh, you know, our customers don't have a budget really anyway, or they do. They have, it's just, you know. So, anyway, so those are our masks, uh, now it is time for the eyes. Uh, oh, the eyes. Uh, the windows uh, and the doorways and uh, so much more than that. And so, we, of course, we have two stages through this. Uh, the stage one is called All of These Dreams. Uh, and w this is actually, now again, these are so, this is a very, very light product and it is applied very gently to your lids uh, and around the eye, uh, you know, with your eyes closed, and uh, again, you're gonna you're gonna feel a, st a stronger aroma than with our other products, uh, and that's actually I'll just tell you it's built into the cap of the product, not the product itself. So when you uncap the product, uh, the room will fill with a stronger, relaxing aroma. Uh, that again, when your eyes close, maybe later tonight you'll uh, think about it uh, uh, as your dreams. You know, we just think about eyes closing and dreams together. And then you're going to open up your uh, eyes again. And you're going to, uh, uh, we call it split open and melt. Uh, because when you start to apply this eye cream around the eyes... Uh, this is, you know, some of the thinner skin and more delicate uh, part of your face. Uh, and it's more a place associated w with, you know, being tired. So we went this stage to feel luxurious and uh, reassuring and very gentle. So, uh, again, as you split open and melt, uh, you're going to rub this around your eyes. And, again, it, it has another aroma uh, but again, you could at your home, you could use uh, uh, things. And again, this is a tapping. I guess, uh, did I say rubbing? Uh, I mean, you're, you're tapping it around, uh, and this is around the, the, the border. Uh, well, you you know, from other using other techniques, uh, we're here to talk about, the I guess, the greater uh, the greater techniques. And you say, have you ever practiced the skin care before? Uh, and I say I have. Now, we have another stage uh, with another name, uh, the same name, and it's called Down With D again. Because uh, this time now, no other techniques I know about use this, uh, but it's time to, 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 uh, to uh, give your knuckles a little care because your fingers have been working your face. 
So we're going to start to massage our knuckles uh, and uh, massage our fingers. And we do have a finger cream. Uh, and again, it's just a nice way to treat you, treat the rest of your fingers. And, you know, to just, to just say, hey, you're important to me. Good job. Uh, really good job. Uh, and uh, th- that's uh, what, uh, you know, that's what we're, we're, you know, that's what we do. And we're going to just take the negativity out of the fingers and just to relax them and, and get them feeling like they're hydrated. And then you're, we have uh, the tips of your fingers and even your cuticles uh, all could benefit from this treatment. Uh, and it does have a finger. You say, well, how do I know it from the other down with D? And you see that it has a finger. You, you will be able to tell. Or you say, just use any of your products uh, for that part, for your finger massage. Uh, even the next product, which is uh, in the next stage, which is uh, part of our moisturization stages, uh, and that is a shine a light. Uh, and uh, this is one of our, this is probably our most famous moisturizer uh, because really we're moisturizing to allow the skin. Uh, you're patting this moisturizer and you're sealing it in and allowing uh, your skin to really, really get a moisturized. Uh, uh, so it can you, your inner light will shine out. I mean, that's really what our goal is here. Again, we have some of the finest ingredients. Uh, but again, I just want you to pretend as you're applying it and you're patting it. Uh, you, and you, sometimes you may say, well, I need you to shine the light in me. You know, I, I don't know if I have, you know, say, okay, well, you need to spark a light. Uh, you need to be shown or to shine. Uh, oh, all of this comes, uh, again, with materials. So you see, you know, this explanation's been... Uh, just a too broad, you know, too too in depth for me. I need something, uh, you know, I could do if I was explaining this to a kindergartner. You know, we all come, you know, all of ours uh, come with handy cards uh, for these stages. And if you want to use them with your own products, uh, we, you know, your products you already have, we don't. We can uh, find a way to uh, get to, you know, find a way to deliver this. Uh, you just you do, you know, someone will help you. Uh, to have a way to just simply do it. But you're just uh, applying this moisturizer and you say, well, I've sh- shown a light on my skin and because that's an you know, organ that connects all of me in some sense, connects me to the world, connects me to my my internal self. Uh, again, and it could, you just, this could be a spiritual practice, it could be a meditative practice, and it could just be a skin care, you know, it could be a non-metaphorical a hundred percent skincare based practice. So that's up to you. And one day may be different than the next. And then it's time for our premier level of moisturization, where everybody else stops. We keep going. Uh, and the next stage is peaches and regular. Uh, and it does have a peach sense. It is maybe there is peaches in there, and it is in yet another layer of mo- like. Uh, uh, this is a, like, well, you, you could say emulsion, but, uh, again, you're going to be working this into your skin and patting it in, patting it into your neck, uh, really feeling, uh, I don't know, you, you'll just say, woof, peaches and regular, like as you're putting it on there. And if this is your evening routine, this is a place where you could actually stop, uh, you know, that's where you'll stop. We still have two more stages, though, for daytime, morning. We're at, you know, she might say, well, I don't leave the house till afternoon. We say, no problem. Uh, for our next two stops, our, 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 our sunscreen stops. Uh, and again, we say, because we don't believe that skin care stops with the face, we do have a dual skin care in sunscreen routine or sun care. And our first sunscreen is called Cities. Uh, it is again it, uh, like uh, uh, p- 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 because we're preparing, preparing you for the, the metaphorical cities of the world. You're going out into the city. Uh, maybe you're not. Maybe you're going out into the country. Uh, but we just call it Cities uh, because uh, that's where we're located. And we think about going out in the door. A lot of times you think about the city first and not the sun. Uh, 
So I don't know. That's what part of the idea behind that is uh, going out into the world. And so this uh, has all the protection your face needs. Uh, uh, so you're going to gently pat and rub this in. And again, this has a, oof, this is a, it's your protective, uh, and you're going to need it. It's a shield, and, uh, you know, it's there for your son, and uh, it works. Uh, so you're going to apply that, uh, and with the cities, you can now, you, you can use it for your whole face, your neck, and your ears, uh, but we do have another stage because we don't believe it just stopping there. And this is just a little bit different um the density and one, you know, a little bit different ingredients. Uh, but then we have a sunscreen for the rest of your body. You could use it on your face, uh, but we always think, well, maybe start with the ears in the back of your neck uh, and, you know, the clavicle, uh, of course, and then your arms and your hands uh, and your elbows uh, and anything else that's going to be outside. We call this My Sweet One. And because it is the last stage and it is a protective stage, uh, and sometimes you're protecting like the backs of your hands or the ears or your elbows uh, that you might forget or that you just don't always give attention to. And that's why we call it My Sweet One. We want you to be applying it uh, in really in a loving way. We want, like, we do believe in self love and self care, self care because you love yourself. And so I think this is like the 20th, 21st stage. You'll uh, rub in that last sunscreen, and then you'll be ready for the world. Or if you've just applied peaches, uh, you'll be ready for bed, and you'll be comfortable. I mean, maybe you're so relaxed after you get on that sunscreen, you don't even need to leave the house. We'd say do it because you're feeling good. Uh, uh, but, yeah, that's so that's what we're here. We're, uh, you know, the... the uh, Again, we're, we're, you know, a special skincare routine, 20 stages, uh, or more or less, uh, whatever you need. Uh, thanks for visiting our shop. Uh, I guess we could call it enrobed in skincare uh, so be enro- because you are enrobed in your body, you know. I, well, but uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, on behalf of my brother and I, uh, good night. I want to thank everybody that recently became a, a patron. Uh, Bethany, Jesse, and Tammy, thanks, 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 and good night. Uh, Tara or Tara, uh, Ted and Catherine, thank you, thanks, thanks, and good night. Uh, Kate, Matthew, and Troy, thank you, thanks, 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 and good night. Caroline, Linda, and Marielle, uh, thank you, thanks, thanks, and good night. Kimberly, Heather, and Jen, thank you, thanks, thanks, and good night. Uh, Lisa, Diane, and Ryan, thank you, thanks, thanks, and good night. Madeline, Carolina, and Kyle, thank you, thanks, thanks, and good night. Peachy Sam, Katie, and Racing Snail, thank you, thanks, thanks, and good night. Uh, Brianna, Patricia, and Amy, thank you, thanks, thanks, and good night. Uh, Robert, Robert, Jeff, and Amanda, thank you, thanks, thanks, and good night. Sabrina, Janet, and Lindsay, thank you, thanks, thanks, and good night. Justin, Lori, and Rachel, thank you, thanks, thanks, and good night. Uh, Lynn, Donna, and Mary, thank you, thanks, thanks, and good night. Uh, Reese, uh, Jamie, and Catherine, thank you, thanks, thanks, and good night. Uh, JK and Karen, thanks, thanks, and good night. And Susan and Sarah, thank you, thanks, thanks, and good night. Uh, so thanks, everybody uh, who sourced the show on Patreon. I really, really appreciate the support. Uh, I couldn't do it without you. Sleep With Me exists as a free podcast because a direct listener action to keep the show free. That's the listeners who support the sponsors and listeners who support the show, just like the people I just listed on Patreon. The uh, show grows by people just spreading the word, uh, natural word of mouth, uh, really how new people find the show. So thank you, everyone, for that. Uh, Sleep With Me is a proud member of Night Vale Presents. Uh, you can check out all the amazing shows over at nightvalepresents.com including one of my favorites, uh, Within the Wires. Uh, seasons 1, 2, and 3 are out now. Uh, season 4 is in progress. Uh, you can kind of you can listen to them in, in any order. Uh, so you could listen to, and you should binge them. Binge them in any order, or binge them 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 3, 3, 2, any of those orders, 3, 1, 2, 
Uh, it's unlike any other podcast out there. Listen to it in headphones if, if, if you like it. Really, really enjoy it even more. Uh, they're overlapping stories, but each season has its own story with uh, different narrators and timelines. It's very, very immersive, uh, beautiful original music. Uh, check it out at uh, Within the Wires, within any, within any podcast app, within the wires of your podcast app uh, of choice or at nightvalepresents.com. Uh, we're also a member, proud member of uh, PRX. You can see everything they're doing at prx.org. And uh, that's it. Thanks and good nights.